Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, Laurie Evans, owner of Cut and Paste Craft Studios, is back in. And I asked, I think it was last week, <laughs> I asked for something a little bit tougher yes. for Katie to do because yes. I think we're sort of... Oh, it, I'm more advanced than you are. You've been taking it easy on us. <laughs> and look, there's one of the things that I love about your store is that people can come in and have some lessons, yeah. yes. bring in some groups. A week could go in together on, mm. you know, in the yes. afternoons. You have classes as well. But oh, I love the idea that you're not just about stenciling. Yes. We can do some painting as yes. well. Yes. Mm -hmm. We like to do canvas painting. Okay. Um, we use DecoArt's social media program. DecoArt's a company right here in Kentucky. Uh -huh. And what makes their canvas painting different from other people's is that we actually trace the pattern onto the, the canvas okay, or the so I'm item. I'm going to hold that up for you. Yes. So the camera can see. We've That's what it looks like to begin with. We've traced it on there. So that you're, uh, okay, it's almost, see it. it's almost paint by number. Oh, okay, um, fantastic. In, and then we're given complete instructions, so we guide you through everything we did. And so this canvas over here, the sunflower, this, this one right here, first canvas I had ever painted in my whole life. Oh wow! And, and everything was just well, walked into. You didn't do through. a bad job. <laughs> well, thank you. That's pretty good. Looks and like I could do that. And you could, you could. We had twelve-year-olds doing that that day too. Yeah, I could probably. I, do anybody it could do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then they said to me, you know, you don't have to do it just on canvas. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I said, okay, let's let's do it on a, a piece of wood. So this is the final product. That's what the we're final making, product. Right? Let's okay. be real. This is what it's supposed to look yes. like. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. But what they do in their directions is they say things like, okay, you need six parts white, uh, one uh, half part of chrome orange, one part of the phthalo red, which is actually okay. pink, and one part of that. So you're going to with this bigger brush, you're going to mix those colors okay. to, together, and yes. just stir it up really well. Okay. Now, how do you know? What's one part and what's six parts? And well, you kind of think about if I have a blob of white, that's yeah. my one part. Yeah. If I and then if I have two blobs of red, then I've got two parts. Okay. It's very rough. Well, that looks like okay. it's ready to go. Yeah. So then I'm going to have you switch brushes. Okay. You're going to use a smaller one here, and you're going to fill in this flower right there, oh, okay. just with that paint. But. What, the, what you're drawing just there and what I see on here is a little different as it well. It is because you have to do it in layers. Oh. You start with uh, one color for the larger part of the flower. Which then is what you're Katie's gonna, doing now. Right. Then she's going to add a little bit more of a different color to it. You take the paint you've already made, you make it darker, and then you do another layer on top and of you, that. Do you have to wait till it dries? You do, but this is not a lot of paint that you're putting on. You're not gooping it on yeah. really thick. It's not so like it we're dries, painting a wall. It dries very, very quickly. We also have um, blow dryers in the shop, which oh are great good. for doing a quick dry. Well, Katie's got a um, blow dryer. Yeah. <laughs> is this something that we, oh yeah, I could blow dry this. Is this something that you can just come in and, and pick your own stuff? to work on or do you Not, have to attend a class? No, these are we do in class only. Okay. But we can set up a private class where people can choose the style that they want oh. and then the whole class does it. And we do ones for kids, we do them for adults, we do... So these ones that are closest to you now, the shoes yes, and, the peace and the peace sign, sign, is that something that is similar, like paint by numbers type of thing? It's the, it's the same thing, we the trace sensor. it on. We have done we did this uh, peace sign one with seven, eight, nine year olds. You're amazing. Oh, and they loved it. They okay. loved it, and it's step by step. So Laurie, I'm reading the directions to you. I absolutely love it. If you want to find out about Laurie and everything she's doing over there at Cut and Paste Craft Studio, there's the phone number, there's the website. Hey guys, it's so simple, and what a way, if it's raining in the afternoon, you've got nothing for the kids to do, go in and annoy yeah. Laurie. That's what <laughs> I think we should we do. We would love Just it. Just go in and start we screaming. Would love it. And, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Laurie, thank you so thank much. You.